So it's time for the Indie Minute, I guess. <laughs> we'll do that. Um, I guess the first thing we should talk about this week is the stuff going on in the Sorgatron Media world in the PA area, and that's RWA. Renegade Wrestling Alliance is this weekend on the 14th in West Newton, Pennsylvania for Fall Free for All. Sorg! Well, I was going to toss the wheels to let us know what's going really? on in RWA. Really? Really? What's really? happening? Really? Who's excited? You're, 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 you turn it to Sorg when I'm the man who plays the soulful music that gets that crowd rocking. <laughs> you still never it's played me. my suggestion, sir. I don't want to die, Sorg. Aww. <laughs> a little smooth jazz. Little <laughs> no, no, no. Different. It's not slow, smooth jazz. No, it's renegade. No. So what's going on at RWA? What is going on? I mean, last last show we had we had bitches going through tables. We had a birthday party. Nobody ate the cake oh. except for their face. We had balloons. We had craziness. We had people walking out of championship matches. It is calamity in RWA, oh. sir. What what is happening this month? What's on the agenda oh. for this month? What oh man, what's on the agenda, Sorg? Man, after last month, what do we expect from Ryan Edmonds? Well, I know what I'm expecting. Loaded to kick his ass. And maybe, just maybe, be thrown a champion and become the RWA Heavyweight Champion. And we also have another championship match. One, that, one man said he never wanted to see himself in again, but we will. It's G Raver versus J Ice for the Cruiserweight title. And we'll also get more updates on, as you put it, Sword, bitches going through tables. We get we get to hear what how Serafini's feeling, how Juice and Joey are feeling from the A list, and see what kind of ramifications will happen to the Wild West. And, and there were a lot of uh, after last month. There were uh, I know on her Instagram a lot of marks. Uh, uh, you know some some of the scrapes that she ended up with. Uh, so you can go find Serafina Serafini on uh, Instagram and check that out. Uh, so uh, so it's really uh, yeah. It, it, there's a lot of action there. Uh, a lot of stuff going on. And we actually do have a promotion going on here through the Mayhem Show uh, with our friends at RWA. Uh, if you are in the Pittsburgh area, uh, we've been retweeting the last couple of days. We're going to continue here through Wednesday at least, and we're going to pick a winner. Uh, follow at Mayhem Show on Twitter. Retweet uh, our big tweet about the uh, show, uh, about the contest, about two free tickets to the show, uh, and we'll be uh, sending one of you down, guys down there to West Newton, uh, and you're going to have some uh, free tickets at the door there. Uh, so yeah, if this is your time, you'd be like, I would want, I would want to check out some of this live pro wrestling in Pittsburgh. Now's the time we're trying to get more people down there to check it out. Uh, if this is your first chance to say, uh, maybe I'll, yeah, I'll see if I can get some free tickets, go check it out. But even if you don't win the free tickets, I, I do encourage you to go. It's about, what, it was about 45 minute drive, uh, out of downtown Pittsburgh, if I'm not mistaken, something along there. There's a sheets on yeah. the way. You're good. You know, <laughs> uh, that's what we do every time. We stop at that sheets down there on 51. You will probably run and into there's us. A sure, there's a Taco Bell also. I don't nearby. know about the Taco Bell. There's a Chipotle. There is a Chipotle, and there's some Jesus Hate Chicken as well, if you're into that. West, West, West Newton's coming up. <laughs> well, it's you not... say Jesus Hate Chicken? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, what? That makes me happy to hear. <laughs> Um, well, we got to support our friends. Um, so, no, it's a good time. Great guys. J. Ice, G. Raver, friends of the show. Um, everybody else blanks me in the head. Uh, Ryan there. Edmonds. Ryan, Ryan Edmonds, Mitchell. Edmonds, friend of the show. Ryan Mitchell as well. Uh, is, is Ryan Ma Ryan's back this time taking on Scotty yes. Matthews. Scotty Matthews has been impressing me too. Um, yes, yes. So there's a little bit of speech with him on the YouTube channel. It's uh, RWA Pro on the Twitters. I'm sorry, on yeah, on the Twitters. And I think that's yes. also RWA Pro on the YouTubes, but you can get all that stuff at rwalive.com and get a little glimpse of what's going on down there and check out the DVDs and trailers and all that kind of stuff. And birthday hats. Look at that. Birthday party yes. hats. Excellent. Hats. I even had one on my head, and it was wonderful. It was, I mean, it was a good time. I, it was so much fun. Yes, it was good times, like that shirt. <laughs> it's fall free for all five. What else is coming up, Eamon? There is stuff coming up all over the United States of America and beyond if you live in other countries, but I'm just talking about the U.S. because that's all that matters. Uh, getting, oh, I'm gonna, Screw I'm you, gonna international all listeners! Wow. I'm going to get all the hate tonight. You don't um, get the indie. Wrestle fan says so. 
Yeah. Uh, speaking of, uh, uh, well, we would go from the Pittsburgh area to the Texas area this weekend. The whole uh, area. Anarchy Championship Wrestling is holding their uh, September event, Evolution of the Revolution, uh, in downtown Austin, Texas at Mohawks on uh, September 15th. Uh, it should be a fun event. Uh, JT LaMotta, who is a, uh, who's been a mainstay of the Texas independent wrestling scene, is slowly uh, going towards retirement. So he will be uh, facing Jimmy Jacobs in what is to be his last match in ACW. Uh, so that should be a big moment. Also, Davey Vega will be taking on front of the Wrestling Mayhem show Ricky Starks in what I think is going to be a spectacular match. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of fun stuff. So uh, if you want to go check them out, you can go to anarchychampionshipwrestling.com, get your tickets, and come down to the Mohawk in downtown Austin, Texas uh, to go see some professional wrestling in uh, the Texas area. Also, if you're not in the Texas area, but you're still in the Midwest, there's a couple of Wrestling Is events that are happening this weekend. On September 14th in Lafayette, Indiana, there is Wrestling Is Heart. Um, and then on the 15th in Carbondale, Illinois, there is Wrestling is Intense. Uh, both of them look like very great shows. A lot of the great Midwest talent mixing it up with some of the guys that you see uh, sort of the mainstays of Wrestling is, but also a lot of that Chikara influence that uh, sort of an infinite of Wrestling is. Um, it definitely, both of those shows definitely look like fun shows. You can go to WrestlingIsHeart.com and WrestlingIsIntense.com to get information on the event and uh, go get tickets. Yeah. Uh, so if you're in the Midwest area, I definitely encourage you to check them out because the wrestling is stuff looks really fun it is and, and uh, can i say the national pro wrestling day back in february i think most of the well, of course they're all chikara based so it made sense uh most of the wrestling is uh promotions uh 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 had a representation there um and mm. and, mo and for the majority of them were very impressive uh so it, it's a great great concepts uh, uh again in the vein of the the chikara and just some other kind of versions of it and, and i like i like that it's popping up it's like it's like they took the chikara it, it's like they took the creed and the evangelism of chikara and spread it out and franchised it you know which i think yeah. might not be too far from the truth yeah, they definitely they definitely seem like really fun shows. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you're in Indiana or in Illinois uh, this weekend, uh, go check those shows out. Um, also, uh, all over the United States, if you're in the Rhode Island area uh, and you want to see some great professional wrestling, Beyond Wrestling is holding a live event. Uh, their event, Point of No Return, on uh, September 15th in Providence. Wonderful image. Look Love it. I'm sorry? Love the image. Oh, on their uh, Facebook. It's uh, Michael uh, Douglas Facebook. from Point of No Return, the movie, by the way. It's for, pretty for phenomenal. Audio. Uh, this looks that's, like that's a actually from card Falling because... Down. Falling Down? I'm sorry, I mixed them yeah. up. <laughs> I would have man. agreed with you. I'm young. Um, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Good excuse. Uh, but this is going to be fun. They had their uh, event, American Rana, about a month or so ago. That was really great. They they brought in a good, uh, really nice crowd. Uh, and they mixed up the Beyond Wrestling talent with some of the best talent all over the independents, which is really cool. Uh, and it looks like they're going to do the same thing again this month. Uh, the main event is Biff Music and Drew Gulak teaming up to take on Eddie Edwards and Roderick Strong. Uh, also, uh, Kevin Steen taking on Chris Dickinson. Michael Elgin will be taking on JT Dunn. Uh, you have Chuck Taylor. You've got all the great uh, Beyond Wrestling uh, competitors. They're really talented. Uh, Beyond Wrestling, I, I believe, is producing some of the best stuff on the independents right now. Uh, they, they have a lot of great content. They're always producing content on their YouTube channel. A lot of free stuff that you can check out and sort of absorb and, and get into. But definitely go to their live events that they have uh, that they have open to the fans and all that. Because it's, I mean, you sort of see more of the storyline stuff play out. Because they do have a lot of great storylines also going on and beyond. It's not just sort of the whole idea of wrestlers wrestling for wrestlers. And it's got like that fight club feel almost mm -hmm. in like a small environment where you only have the wrestlers around the ring. But they're also are developing a lot of storylines. And from what I've heard, the live shows uh, where fans are able to attend are really fun. So I encourage you to go check that out Sunday, September 15th in Providence, Rhode Island. For Beyond Wrestling's Point of No Return, you can go to lookmanofans.com to uh, get tickets for that event and go check them out because I... It, it definitely looks like a really fun show. If you uh, know the independent talents like Kevin Steen or Michael Elgin and want to see them, and also uh, talents from Beyond Wrestling that are some of the best untapped talents on the independent wrestling scene. So definitely go check out Beyond Wrestling this weekend. Excellent. Uh, and finally, uh, Alex Cars. Uh, we mentioned Five Dollar Wrestling earlier this uh, show uh, with uh, Riz's email, but he's in a full sort of rundown almost of uh, Five Dollar Wrestling. So let's get into that. Uh, hello, 10 percenters. 
It's your boy, Alex Cars, with a recap of the $5 Wrestling I pay per view this past Sunday. This was originally posted on my website, powertothesmarks.com, plug, uh, which you can check out later for all sorts of goodies, including the partnership with Chicago 101 forum member Babs. Boom, shameless plug. Two plugs in one paragraph. Uh, what a show, guys. For those of you that who don't know what $5 Wrestling is, here's the scoop. It's a comedic wrestling promotion that prides itself on containing terrible wrestling at its finest. A number of the wrestlers, that word being used loosely, have horrible gimmicks, including blatant ripoffs of well-known personalities in the business. And you know what? That's all right. Hosted and commentated by Cole Cabana and Marty DeRosa, $5 Wrestling pro- promises a new way to entertain pro wrestling fans. To quote Fright Train, $5 Wrestling is... Wrestling so good, you gon' get your feet wet. I'm getting all the hate mail tonight. I'm sorry. Um, it's just a fact uh, to everybody. Every all all uh, uh, minorities. Uh, the big story leading up to this iPay per view was that Jake Man Scout Manning had betrayed, had betrayed Freight Train at the $5 Wrestling fans at their WrestleCon show, having had enough of the promotion that ruined his life. He vowed to make the next iPay per view the worst one ever by booking Freight Train against Big Donnie in a main event meant to be so terrible, $5 Wrestling could never survive. Based on how the iPay per view ended, the future of $5 Wrestling seems to be unclear, but one thing is for sure the spirit of $5 Wrestling will live on. Five ever. Five ever, five ever, five ever, five ever. There you go. So yeah, five dollar wrestling. Like the guys, this has been running rampant. You guys called me for a hangout. I think or when I was told divas, uh, you guys were definitely. I was surprised you guys didn't do like a hangout wrap up of five. Oh, I didn't. I didn't get a chance to watch in person. Uh, that was Riz. That would be amazing and, uh, if you guys did that. And I, one, I would love to see and you guys one, uh, for uh, uh, obviously Alexander Carr. So yeah. Uh, yeah. That's really awesome stuff. I believe it's $5wrestling.com where you can get more information on all all that stuff. Yep. Excellent. 